So in this Excel tip video, we're going to cover the font tab up here and what all of these do. So let's go ahead and just type in some dummy text so that way we can mess with this. So this changes the actual font style, so we'll make dummy a little bit weird style, the Algerian style. And this changes the size. It's similar to Microsoft Word or something else that you can use. Okay, you can also change the size by using these two keys over here. And you can see it changes the number there. Then we have the normal bold, italicize, and underline options. And then we have draw border, and I'll get to that one last. And we also have the fill color. So if we want to fill the background color of our cell somehow, we can do that with this. We'll keep it as this yellow color. And then if we want to change the text color, we can do that here. So make sure when you use when you do this that you choose a good text color and good fill color if you're doing this that someone that anyone can read easily. So I wouldn't suggest this green yellow. It sort of looks a little strange. Okay, so that's most of those things. The other thing you can always do is if you want some more advanced options, you can always use this little tab here. So this is going to bring up the settings, and you can do a few more things with these settings than, than your quick um, things there, like a superscript or a subscript or strike through, um, you know, things like that. And that, all these styles and font are there. You can also go, go back to normal font, um, so that way, you know, if you, if you made a mistake and want to go back to the normal one, you can do that. So we see how this is normal now. Okay, so the other thing is with this is there's a bunch of different borders. So we can make a bottom border, and you can see the border exists there. Um, and then same thing with top border, left border, right border. All of these are, and all borders just fills in borders all around the cell. But the nice part about borders is that we can we can do a few different things for that. You can do a thick box around the whole thing. So that that thick box will be maybe you are highlighting a table or something. That thick box border will give you a thick line around the whole thing. The other option with borders is that um, you can always draw the border. So drawing a border, if you draw it, that's going to, you can just, I'm just clicking here to, to draw wherever I want. So maybe I don't want all the borders to show up and maybe I want to do this quickly instead of selecting each cell and trying to do it. Or we can select a bunch of cells and that's what drawing the border is going to do and selecting a bunch of cells. Drawing a border grid is going to do the same thing, except it's going to put all the grid in the middle. So we can we can always erase the border, and we can change the border style. So if I, maybe I want a red border for some reason, and then a grid, I can do that. I can also go to line style, and maybe I want a small one of these lines for my border. So I can do that. So there's lots of different things we can do with the border. And that is just a short introduction to the what we can do with the font tools. Thanks for watching.